In this video, you will learn exactly how to get a remote IT job even if you have no professional experience. So stay with me. Hi, I am Imran Afsal. I make learning technology easy, even for beginners in IT. So I have over 25 years of experience in Linux administration, Windows, virtualization, and many more. I have taught millions of students worldwide. Many people think remote jobs are only for experienced professionals, but that's not true. Companies often hire beginners if they can show they have the right skills, a willingness to learn, and the ability to work independently. The demand for remote IT workers is growing significantly, and the best time to enter the market is now before competition gets tougher. The first step is to choose the role that has entry level remote openings. These include like uh, technical support, QA testing, junior web development, content management, cloud support, or data entry with technical focus. Now, avoid applying for senior positions if you don't have a lot of experience, of course. Instead, a target jobs that list a zero to one or one to two year experience, or that says entry level in the description. Now, once you pick a role, start learning the basic skills needed for it. Use free or low cost platforms like CodeCamp, Coursera, Udemy, LinkedIn Learning, or even YouTube tutorials. Focus on practical tasks, not just the theory. For example, if you want to become a remote junior developer, practice building smaller projects. If you aim for technical support, learn basic troubleshooting for operating systems, network, and common software. Next thing is create proof of your skills through small projects, GitHub repositories, or online portfolios. Even if your work is self-initiated, it shows you can apply what you have learned. Employers want to see evidence that you can work without constant supervision, which is crit critical, of course, for remote roles. Next, set up a strong LinkedIn profile optimized for your target job. Clearly mention something like open to remote work and list your skills and projects. Connect with IT professionals, join groups related to remote work and engage with their posts. Networking often leads to opportunities that are never posted on job boards. Yes, that is true. If you want to learn more about Linux, then please check out our free Linux course on our website. And if you want to enhance your Linux skills further, you could buy my best-selling course, and that is Complete Linux Training to get your dream IT job. Also, make sure to check out my new course, Complete Python Training with AI Skills to get your dream IT job. I am mentioning the links in the description box. Okay, back to what we were talking about. When searching for jobs, use platforms that focus on remote work like we work remotely, Remote OK, uh, Angels List Talent, um, Turing or Turing, and LinkedIn. Use filters for entry level and remote to narrow results. Many startups are open to hiring beginners if they show potential. Also try freelance platforms like Upwork or Fiverr to gain a real client experience. Even small gigs like that help you build credibility because once you're gonna put that in that resume that you actually helped so many clients through Fiverr, that experience counts. Okay, next, prepare for remote interviews by practicing both technical and communication skills. Employers hiring for remote roles also test your ability to communicate clearly online, manage time effectively, and work with minimal guidance. Be ready to discuss your projects, problem solving approach, and how you stay organized when working from home. Finally, don't wait until you feel ready. The more you apply, the more interview experience you gain. Even rejections teach you what employers want. 
if you keep building skills, updating your profile, and applying strategically, you can land a remote IT job without professional experience. So, good luck to you. I hope you learned something useful in this video, and I will see you in the next one. But please wait. Don't forget to subscribe.